Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori and today we're going to do the Goro Hangouts. I'm gonna be doing all endings. This is my first time doing like an intro for uh, a hangout because I currently am live on Twitch. So if you ever wanna see me doing one of these live and come chat with us while it's happening, make sure to come follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lori. Um, additionally, we are in the middle of the Wings of Feasting event and I am a part of it. So if you hear me talking in chat and thinking chat, it's because I, uh, we're getting, we're getting a lot of support in the channel for Wings of Feasting. So, uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Also, thank you so much for the two subs. Enjoy your wings. Here we go. Huh? I really can't recommend that yeah. store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. What? A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Um, uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. Oh my god, his little you ear twitch. That. But do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <gasps> what? Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? <gasps> Wait, no, why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tales with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? I'm losing my mind. I'm like three seconds into this and I'm losing my mind. This is so cute. <sighs> um, don't bully Goro. It's you. Oh, my goodness. Please save me. <laughs> oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? What? What did you just say to me? Hey. Not you too. Oh my god, he's gonna be mad at me? <laughs> Goro, now do you understand how appealing your tail is? Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right. I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Oh my god, he is so freaking cute. Um, how long does it take for the code to show up after you've done two subs? Ellie, it should be instant. Make sure you check your notifications um, on Twitch, which is up here on the upper right. There will be like a notification up there. Check that and see if you have something there. Otherwise, um, it might take a little bit. Um, for a lot of people, it's instant. For some people, they have to wait like uh, up to 24 hours. So, but for most people, it's instant. So hopefully you get, you see it soon. I know his smirk is everything. Like, he's just cute. Or his his ear twitching. His smirk is everything. His ear twitching is everything. You had to wait at least an hour. Yeah. So it just depends. Okay. There's definitely something strange, blah, blah, blah. Auto. Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. Oh my gosh, look at his I ear. I counted on running into her. 
Do you know Yaimiko as well? <sighs> I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. <laughs> I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically, something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. Did, she, did he just say that I could deal, like, I could fight her in battle? Like, or no? Am I just jumping to conclusions? Like, what did you say? Um, why don't I help you overcome this weakness? I'm gonna do this one. Really? That would be great. To be honest, this is something that's always worried me. Oh. If the soldiers ever saw me in this kind of embarrassing situation they'd be very disappointed so i have to overcome it for their sake as soon as i've worked through this let's go take on yaimiko again <sighs> first things first though do you have any ideas on where to begin hey riding orange yeah i just started it <laughs> thank you so much for the sub probably let her get away with go with going to ride and calling her <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, let's see. I can act as a personality you find difficult to do. Oh, <gasps> yes. I see. So if you pretend to be someone like her, I can keep practicing on you. If I can get the better of you, then I'll be able to hold my own when similar situations come up in the future. Good plan. Let's see. Where should we start? Have you found yourself in scenarios like this before? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I remember having a similar experience back on Watatsumi Island. I was with my subordinates at the time. We ran into a merchant, I got caught up talking to them, and I don't quite know what happened, but I ended up buying a lot of things from them. Then I'll pretend to be a merchant. <laughs> I think we can give it a try. There's an island called Rito nearby. Why don't we go there? I heard all the Outlander merchants are based there, so it might help to create the right atmosphere. Okay. He's so stinking cute. Like, oh my god. Go! Like, I was excited about Goro, but like now I'm like really excited about Goro. Like, wow. Wow, wow. So this is Rito. Although it looks slightly gloomy, it feels very peaceful here. I don't see any Tenryo Commission soldiers roaming the streets. What a nice place. Okay, let's get started. I'll be me, and you be a shrewd and savvy businesswoman. Oh, it's you. You came all this way to see me? Welcome to Suku... Suku no mo no. Oh my god. Suku... Sugu mo 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 no groceries. There, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. So, a, a lot of the soldiers have been complaining about a shortage of blankets recently. So, uh, ten blankets, please? 20,000, Mora. Okay, I'll settle the check right away. <laughs> That's it? Just like that? The price seems pretty cheap to me. In which case, no need to haggle, right? 200,000 more, then. I think that's still not too bad. Oh Is my god! Uh, I'm sorry. In the past, Her Excellency has always handled procurement of military supplies. I don't know the specific prices of these items. His ears? So I never really know how to respond. Uh, this won't get us anywhere. I have to haggle to give you the chance to use your wily tricks on me. What do we do now? Your wily tricks. Thank you so much for the gift subs. <laughs> Let's switch to something that you're more interested in. Something I'm <clears throat> more interested in? Hmm. Maybe, um... A hundred thousand Mora for a slice of cake. That's so expensive. I know what a fair price is when it comes to cake. If you want to bargain, you'll have to do as I say. If you can do one little thing for me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I do this one. Wait a sec. If you think about this from another angle, a cake that costs one hundred thousand no slice must be so much better than a regular cake. That is oh, not how see. I've been saving up recently. I think I should have enough. That is not how it works. Shannon, thank you so much for gifting a tier two sub. Appreciate that. Enjoy your wings. <laughs> so. There isn't really a kind of cake that costs 100,000 more per slice? I really don't think so. I don't know. Capitalism got him. <sighs> what a shame. I feel like role playing as a vendor is a little outside our area of expertise. What kind of person do we both see regularly enough to impersonate convincingly? 
I think I've met Fatui with the right kind of personality. Fatui? Then it looks like a trip into the wild is in order. <laughs> Let's go give it a try. I've dealt with Fatui before, but I always end up against those big stocky guys who are much taller than me. I'm sure I must train just as hard as they do every day, but somehow I still don't have the muscles to show for it. <gasps> he don't have no Maybe muscles. Maybe I'll start to see the results in a few more years. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I like you just the way you are. Really? That's very kind. But still, I think that I should aim to look more muscular than my subordinates at the very least. I know that people's trust in me has nothing to do with my size, but if I were taller and bulkier, they'd be able to identify me from behind more easily when charging into battle. That way, our forces wouldn't scatter so easily. As long as I was on the field, they'd be able to follow me. But enough of that. Let's get back to it. Who are you going to roleplay as this time? Uh, let me amuse myself a little. What? I smell danger. What? <laughs> It's just me? Really? Huh. For a moment there, I Wait, what? The actual Fatui were right here. <laughs> no, wait, behind you. It wasn't my imagination. They really are here. Prepare to engage. <laughs> These are. Oh, shoot. I get to play as him. Okay, hold on. I want to look at him. I want to look at him. I want to look at him. Hold on. He's sick. Oh! He's reading his fish book. He's reading his fish book. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Stop! Look at his tail, oh my gosh, so cute, so cute, so cute, I can't stand it, he's so adorable! Oh my god! Hmm. Hmm. Wait. seeing that from the preview and I was like, oh my god. How is he real? He can't. He can't be. Oh my god. I love him. Oh, oh, oh my god. They give him the noblesse oblige treatment again. So rude. Alright, constellations. He's not real. He's digital. He's real in my heart. When characters other than Goro within the AoE of Goro's General War's banner or General's Glory deal geo damage to opponents, the cooldown of Goro's Inazaka, excuse me, all around defense is decreased by 2%. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. Hmm. Um, while General Glory is in effect, its duration is extended by one second when a nearby active character obtains an elemental shard from a crystallized reaction. This effect can occur once every one second. Max extension is three seconds. Increases the level. Okay. Um, when general glory is in the impregnable or crunch. Oh, this is the this is the artifact or the artifact. This is the constellation that's wild. Uh, it will also heal active characters within its AOE by fifty percent of Goro's own defense. Like that is, that's silly. Um, for 12 seconds after using Inazaka all around defense or Juga forward unto victory increases the crit damage of all nearby party members geo damage based on the buff level of the skills field of the time of use. What? That's so good. That's so good. Um, perform a more precise aim shot with increased damage while aiming stone crystals will accumulate on the arrowhead to fully charge, okay, geo damage. Um, deals AOE geo damage and sets up a general's war banner, provides up to three buffs to active characters within the skills AOE based on the number of geo characters in the party at the time of casting. One geo character adds standing firm defense bonus. Two geo characters adds impregnable increases resistance to interruption and then crunch is geo damage bonus goro can deploy only one general's war banner on the field at any one time 
Characters can only benefit from one general's war banner at a time when a party member leaves the field. The active buff will last for two seconds. Oh my god. Hi, Mystic. Welcome back. Uh, all right, so the burst. Let's see. Um, deals AoE geo damage and creates a field known as General's Glory to embolden his comrades. This field is the following properties. Like the General's War Banner created by Inozaka all around defense, provides buffs to receive, or sorry, buffs to active characters within the skills AoE based on the number of geo characters in the party. Also moves together with your active character. Okay, cool. Generates one crystal collapse every 1.5 seconds that deals AoE da geo damage to one opponent within the skills AoE, pulls one elemental shard and the skills AoE to your active character's position every 1.5 seconds. Elemental shards are created by crystallized reactions. The General's War Banner created by Goro currently exists in the field. When this ability is used, it will be destroyed. In addition for the duration of General's Glory, Goro's elemental skill Inuzaka all around defense will not create the General's War Banner. Goro falls the effect, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's cool. Um, all nearby party members' defense is increased by 25%. Can we talk about how this is going to be so... This is like, oh my god, Geo parties are going to be so wild. Oh my god, like, like, Albedo? Like... And then of course we have that too, which is... Like, I am screaming. This is so good. Wait, when's his birthday? What is he? Hold on. I. Uh. Huh. It's all fun and games until the real Fatui show up. Huh? He's. Oh my God. I. I like. I love him so much. Like, I love him so much. And I don't know. Like, I didn't even think that I could love him this much. But, like, I really do. Like, I really love him a lot. He's so <sighs> cute. That little interruption has really ruined the mood for me. Let's not do any more Fatui impressions for today. It seems in poor taste after the trouble they caused in Watatsumi Island anyway. Do we have any other options? There's only one thing for it. Time for Plan Z. Huh. What do you mean? Let's cut to the chase! <laughs> Wait. Uh, is this moving a little too fast? Wait, what's happening? Her Excellency advocates slow and steady progress in all things and cautions against trying to advance too quickly. I only s to clarify, it's not that I'm scared. <laughs> it's just that I don't know if the time is right. I only said let's cut to the chase because of Kuching. So like, I just I thought we were gonna go talk to her. <laughs> it's time to take this step. Uh, I guess you're right. Thanks for your encouragement. It's not like me to shy away from a challenge like this. Let's do it. Time for a make or break training exercise. <laughs> this, this, this hangout is wild. Like, the choices are... Uh, I love this. I love this. I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> I'm a very big fan. I'm, I don't know why I'm making this so hard for myself. I guess I can just switch to Zhongli. Yeah! Like, he really... He really makes a difference. I think... Well, I mean, he's... He is going to buff albedo so much what shall we do like i've never wanted to have Stabilize. five people in my party as much as i do now with goro bully him and bully him affectionately that is so true oh wait i can just i can just teleport there Like, I loved him before, but, like, this hangout is just, obviously, it's doing what hangouts do, which is making you fall in love with characters more. <laughs> and we're back. Ready? Don't worry. My head's in the game this time. Is it? Goro, is it? I am a high-ranking military officer of Watatsumi Island and the general of the resistance. Whatever tricks you've got up your sleeve, you're not going to get to me. So bring it on. It sounds like you won't mind if I don't go easy on how adorable. Okay. Uh it sounds like you won't mind if I don't go easy on I'm gonna say it. Hmm. This feels like Is this like I feel like this entire hangout is so horny. Thank you so much for the subs. Let me Oh no! Why do I have to pick? Why do I have to pick? 
I want to do both. I'm going to rub the ears, though. Yes, it definitely feels like... Like Yai Miko? Uh, no, not even slightly. Hey? It's not that you do a bad impression of her. More like uh, something is missing. I finally realized it when you were talking to me just now. I think that maybe what I'm really afraid of is her knowing smile and her piercing gaze. <laughs> uh, it just makes me feel like all my secrets have nowhere to hide like she can just peer in and see them but it's different with you i trust you so i don't feel i need to hide my secrets in the first place oh. even when you're imitating the way she speaks i don't feel afraid because we fought side by side in the past and i know i don't have to have my guard up around you wait that's so cute goro's voice is not what i expected it's so cute Speaking of, um, actually, uh, Corey Lee, who is the voice of Goro, we will be doing an interview with him, uh, soonish. We're just trying to, like, um, you know, get the dates going and stuff. But, yeah, so if you're a fan of Goro and his voice, we will be interviewing Corey Lee. Uh, it will not be my first rodeo. I've actually interviewed Christian Bannis, who is the voice of Toma, and also interviewed Anne Yatko, who's the voice of Raiden Shogun. So um, if you want to see any of those interviews in the past, they're up on my YouTube, exclamation point YouTube. But um, all the voice actors for Genshin are super sweet, and uh, I think it's really awesome that uh, Corey uh, is going to come on the stream and we're going we're gonna to talk to him and stuff. So it'll be great. Uh... Sorry, Corey Yee, yeah. Um, Inazuma Supremacy. Yeah, I'm I'm actually looking to get some others on my stream as well at some point, but yeah. We'll see. Anyway, uh, that makes sense. <sighs> but it also means that this training won't work. I just have to accept that this is a weakness of mine, as much as it pains me to do so. The thought of having to live with this weakness forever is frustrating. No. Why don't we go buy some cake? Surely some cake will cheer you up. Are you serious? I'd love that. I haven't eaten anything sweet in a long time. Off we go. Let's go buy some cake. I can't believe we're going to buy cake. All right. The next step is to find somewhere nice and quiet. This is so cute. Mm, mm, this is so good. <laughs> you don't get to eat cake very often. <laughs> it's certainly a rarity in the camp. It's seen as a luxury item in the ranks of the resistance. We have special meals on occasion, but even then it usually means meat and wine, not dessert. So, thank you for treating me to some cake. You're welcome. The only downside with Narukami Island's pastries is that they're such exquisite things, you can't just chow down on them. But, as Her Excellency says, a general needs to show patience and restraint. Wanna try my cake? What? No way! I'm sorry, I'm screaming. Why is that an option? Didn't we get the same cake? Are we okay? Mihoyo? The writers? Are we good? <laughs> This is so, this is so much. I feel like, I honestly feel like the hangout is the vibe for the day. Am I wrong though? Like it's such a vibe for the day. This is so wild. Thank you so much for the gift subs, by the way. Appreciate it. Enjoy your wings. When it, I'm saying it. Wow, uh, don't <laughs> mind if I do. Oh. Hmm. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much. Oh, it's done. I'm giving him my cake. <laughs> this is too much for me. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. We're talking about baked cake. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to save it. That's so cute. Whew. I just did one ending for anyone that's curious. 
Um, I literally cannot believe that that was the thing that we just saw. I'm, I am an adult. Victorious legend. Oh my gosh, I like how we all thought this was Ito's. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. Okay, it's okay, let's just ignore her. <sighs> You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yaimiko, everything should be fine. Actually, Yaimiko's not all bad. Let's steer clear of the Yai Publishing House for now then. Uh, I feel like I should say, actually, Yaimiko's not all bad. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. What is it? They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. Yai Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. Huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Not the kink shaming. It can't be that bad. I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm gonna look at my phone, because I the last thing that I'd ever want to do is look it up on the computer, and then it shows up somewhere. What? 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 We are not talking about that at all. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you know who at the Yai publishing house later. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. It's messed up, he's ruined. Uh, I don't want to even stay with you anymore. I'll stay and keep you company. Great. Let's write the replies together. I'm actually interested to hear your perspective. Let me see here. <sighs> uh, let's start with this one. Today, a new guy came to our village. Stop! He was and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter and my heart started beating faster and faster. What? <sighs> See, oh my god! I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. Oh What's your take? I just don't like this anymore. I'm, I can't. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not getting through this, like at, in a normal way. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. It sounds like she's falling in love. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I don't know what it's like to be in love, but if you say <laughs> so, I think it makes sense. I'll reply like this then. <clears throat> it's likely that the feelings you're experiencing right now won't occur many times in your life. I urge you to summon the courage to seize this opportunity and see where it takes you, no matter where that may be. I have never wanted the men in black to come walking through my door more than I, I have now. Like, just to erase it from my memory. I've never wanted it to happen more. Like, I've never wanted them to be real more than I do now in my lifetime. I, oh my God, Will Smith, please save me. <laughs> I know, but y'all, y'all can't be like, Lori, don't do this. And then I, and then I don't do it. <laughs> More professional than I expected. What? Really? But that's how it is in battle, too. Opportunities to seize victory are fleeting. I can't when look they at arise, him. You have to capitalize on them right away. Look at the flowers. I imagine it's the same in love. That's my suggestion, anyway. Mm. Uh, come on, let's read the next letter. 
What does this one say? My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. Not I've tried this. Subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The problem is to resolve it without delay. The most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? No. <sighs> uh, perhaps take a softer tone. That makes sense too. Giving the neighbor an ultimatum would likely harm the relationship between them. I can't them. believe y'all ruined this but boy. The letter also makes it clear that no matter how many hints the writer gives, y'all really ruined the him. Will He's so soft. In that case, how about we reply like this? Why not ask to borrow some money from your neighbor? Any sum he agrees to lend you can be used to offset the amount he owes. Even if he refuses to lend to you, at least by asking to borrow from him, <laughs> you are sending him the message that your own financial position is far from optimal. Are you sure that will work? Uh, I don't know, but it's worth a try. The most important thing is to muster the courage to resist <laughs> and not give the other person the impression that you're someone they can take advantage of. <laughs> and we're done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So this is from one of my troops? Mm, most likely, but I'm not sure who. <clears throat> Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. Anyway, let's keep reading. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the vision hunt decree, and my anger drove me to join the resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But this is not my hometown, and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the shogunate, but my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. How should I reply to him? Oh, uh, oh my God. You'll have to answer this one, Goro. I can't help you this time. I'm gonna say this one. Let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave, but if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. Aww. Back to what we're doing. Um, are you okay? Uh, I'll <clears throat> be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. Oh, poor Beeb. Thanks to you, Writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House, shall we? Ah, great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Miss He... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. Hmm? Uh, think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me that the bonds between people whose paths have crossed can never be broken, even after they part ways. But... Maybe I'm scared he might be wrong. People can change quickly, and I worry that the next time I meet my comrade, who fought so bravely alongside me, <gasps> there will already be some distance between us. Oh my god! He's like, I hope that Kazuha doesn't fall out of love with me. This is so cute. Let's go visit them together. Great. Then let's head off whenever you're ready. General Goro a and Captain of Swordfish 2. Thank you for the tier 2. General Captain, are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, 
Not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see, after the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now, and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we'd talk about. Uh, so that's really how it goes, huh? Aww. It's part of life. We all go through it. I know. <clears throat> it's okay. I just... It just seems a pity. That's all. You know, having said all that, there, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. We're your troops, General Goro. You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Aww. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Long live the resistance! <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance! I love him! Long live the resistance! I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Thank you so much for the gift sub! Ah, General Goru, you're here. I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. No, oh, look at him run. Denjiro is right. No matter <gasps> what changes the future may bring, we will How how is that Deluke's ass? Sure, there may be some awkward silences <laughs> when we meet again after a long time, but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. YouTube is going to hear me just just scream Deluke's ass cheeks and they're gonna be like, what? I don't remember this being a part of the hangout, Deluke's ass cheeks. Are we at Tepe's house? General Goro? No way. I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to talk to you about it. Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I, I am your subordinate, after all. Miss Hina? Miss Hina? Who's that? It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the resistance. General Goro, I... Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never Aww. going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. Comrades! I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself. 
General Goro. Take care. That was... That was okay. Aww. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. I love that. I liked that one. <laughs> I mean, so far I like both of them, but I I like it. It's so cute. I think this one I had two options. Yeah. Let's steer clear of Yai Publishing House for now. Okay. Whatever you think's best. Let's avoid Yai Publishing House for now. All right. Actually, there's something else I have to sort out while I'm on Narukami Island. It's a personal matter. Back when we were fighting the Shogun's army at Nazuchi Beach, I had a box with me that contained some very important items. The odds were stacked against us that day, and the resistance was forced to retreat. I had to abandon the box, but I managed to quickly bury it first. I went back to collect it on this trip, but it turned out someone had already dug it up. So I asked around the area, and the locals said that apparently the Adventurers Guild had beaten me to it. That box is very important to me. I have to get it back from the Adventurers Guild. Would you mind coming along? I'm just imagining like Goro like digging like a dog. Like, I gotta bury this. So cute. Uh, all right, no problem. Thank you so much. Let's head right over. Time is of the essence. 14 wallpaper, let's go. Thank you so much for the gift subs. <sighs> I'm afraid that will be a little difficult. Okay, uh, has the box gone? Don't worry. The item you are looking for is safe and sound. However, I'm unable to return it to you at present. Not you about to keep it. The reason being, it is connected to a case involving the treasure hoarders, which is still under investigation. That's strange. I buried that box there. What does it have to do with the treasure hoarders? Allow me to explain. Not long ago, we received a commission concerning a theft by treasure hoarders at Kamore Tea House. The adventurer who accepted the commission followed their trail, and heard that they had buried the treasure at Nazuchi Beach. But when we went to dig up the stolen items, we found many other things buried there along with them. As such, we cannot ascertain which of the items have to do with the treasure hoarders at this stage. For now, all we can do is hold all related items at the Adventurers Guild until such a time as we have caught the group of treasure hoarders in question. Then, we will see that all items are returned to their rightful owners. Hmm, I see. I never expected that other people would be burying things in the same okay, place. Okay, because I thought Gora was the um, one burying everything. These are the rules. I won't press you for it. But might I ask how the investigation is coming along? This is where the difficulty arises. To date, we have still not been able to locate the hiding place of the treasure hoarders. So I'm afraid it still could take some time. So there's no knowing when this will be resolved. Maybe I could help. I could find the treasure hoarders for you, and once you confirm everything is in order, you'll be able to return my box to me. It's very important to me, so the sooner I get it back, the better. Aww. That is perfectly acceptable. However, many adventurers have investigated this case recently. They have searched far and wide, but their efforts have been fruitless. If the two of you are still interested in taking the case, you may have to devise an original approach. Yeah, it would it wouldn't. That's what I was thinking about. Like he's burying a bunch of other stuff there. Let's head to Kamori Tea House first. Yes, it seems like the only sensible place to start. With any luck, we might be able to find some clues there. Uh, well, actually, since it's come up, what's the Kamori Tea House like? It's actually a hot pot place. I'm gonna say it. Hot pot? So they call it a tea house despite the fact that it is obviously a hot pot restaurant? Huh? How confusing. He's so precious. Anyway, let's go take a look. Are you here to investigate the recent theft as well? We're grateful for the assistance. However, I'm afraid I don't have any more clues. It was Tarumaru's number two reserve fund that they stole. They struck late at night while there was no one in the surrounding area, so they could slip in unnoticed. By the time we realized, it was too late. They left enough clues for us to retrieve the box, 
but we found no trace of the group of treasure hoarders who dared to target our tea house. <sighs> I've asked around many times, and there were no eyewitnesses at all. We're definitely dealing with experienced crooks here. Oh, oh Taramaru, what are you doing out here? He's so cute. How strange. Woof, woof, woof. I don't know what's gotten into Tarumaru today. He says he knows where the treasure hoarders are hiding. <laughs> of course he can understand Tarumaru. Of course. That makes so much sense. Oh my god. Um, does that mean you're a... Uh, how can I describe it? It's like listening to a regional dialect. A lot of it goes over my head, but I can still get the general gist. Not this. Anyway, he says he was there at the scene of the crime. The treasure hoarders didn't see Tarumaru as a threat, so he stayed and listened in on their whole conversation. Since there were so many of them and they were armed, Tarumaru didn't dare to bark loudly, so he just had to let them go. Oh, no wonder. Poor boy. He's been acting more anxious than usual lately and is always looking outside. And I thought he just wanted someone to take him for a walk. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> yes, that does sound like quite a predicament. I'm losing it. Uh, okay, I think I understand. <laughs> I don't. I'm losing. Th they're having a conversation. Oh my, I don't. Tarumaro says he heard the treasure hoarders conspiring to hide out at the beach directly below Tenshikaku. I'm losing no one usually it. Thinks to look there, and it's become something of a safe haven for treasure hoarders. He also mentioned that there were a gang of five people. The leader's name is Kosuke, and the second in command is called Yasuhisa. The leader's scent indicated he was probably from the Narukami Island area. What? While the two newcomers in the team were more likely from somewhere else. Not you understanding what? Not you, what? That's all, that's what? Thank you, Tarumaru. <laughs> it must have been hard for you, knowing the details of the crime, but not being able to communicate them. Don't you worry. We'll take care of everything from here. We will definitely get your belongings back. Let's go there in person. We might not have any troops with us, but between the two of us, we should be able to deal with a handful of petty thieves. Oh this my god. Bizarre. How would anyone think to look here? Uh, boss, didn't you say that the most dangerous place is the safest place to hide? Yeah, and I still maintain that I'm right in principle. Think how many days we've been here. No one else has come looking for us, have they? I can't believe we got caught. Just when the whole thing had nearly blown over. Hey, kid, who the heck are you guys anyway? <gasps> you can say Tarumaru's best buddies. Sometimes you have to let go of the, the ashes of memory. <laughs> uh, just some people fighting for justice in Inazuma. Tarumaru's best buddies. We shouldn't waste it. any more time on these people. Life is tough in the resistance, but none of our troops would ever think about laying a hand on the innocent civilians under their rule. You have things so much better here, and this is how you choose to live your life? It's pure selfishness. We should turn them over to the Adventurers Guild right away. Once their identities are confirmed, they'll get the punishment they deserve. Please, show a little mercy. We'll give you half of everything we've saved up over the years. If you're willing to turn a blind eye on this, anything's up for negotiation. That's enough. Tie them up and take them away. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> come to think of it, this is not a military camp, so there's no need for me to be so heavy-handed. But he's commanding me. Punished. Let's escort them back. Does Goro even have a collar? Confirm that these are indeed the individuals who stole from Kamori Tea House. I didn't expect you to catch them so quickly, especially with no new leads to explore. In accordance with the rules, now that we have procured an oral confession from the treasure hoarders and verified the list of stolen items. We can now return the box to you. Yay! Here, please take what it. What is in the box? Oh, thank goodness. Are you going to open it and take a look? Well, let me think. The contents of the box don't belong here. They belong on Watatsumi Island. So, let's head there now and open it. One, two, three. Yes, it looks like they're all here. What are these? Some personal items that once belonged to the troops under my command. Hi, Fidget! Water bottles, towels, knee guards, just everyday items, but each one bears the handwritten name of its former owner. Huh? 
These were the only things those soldiers had for their families to remember them by. We all knew going into that battle that the odds of survival were slim. Many of the soldiers came to me and said they wanted to leave something behind as a keepsake for their loved ones. You see, their swords and polearms broke in battle. Their damaged armor wouldn't have been easy to carry. And many of them couldn't write very well, so they couldn't even leave a letter. In the end, all they could leave to their families were these ordinary items. Artifacts of their daily lives. Goro. My soldiers trusted me, but I failed to lead them to victory that day. Then they trusted me with these, and instead of honoring their last wishes right away, I had to hastily bury them in the sand. Every time something like this happens, I tell myself that by the next time I'm faced with the same situation, I have to be stronger. Oh, you got the box back. It's all right now. Yeah. But right now, let me just. Okay, but now I'm crying. Are you joking? That's the end of that one? Uh, I don't like it. It made me sad. Okay, so we can start with the rhetorical study. Hey, Corey, how are you? Oh my gosh, can we get a follow for Corey? Corey is the voice of Goro. How are you? Yes, I am doing it. We've gotten, I think we only need like two more endings, but so far it's been an absolute roller coaster ride. Like I, I was like, excited and then I was blushing and then I was sad <laughs> but you did amazing we love this so very much <laughs> we are we are big fans thus far <laughs> some st <sighs> oh, we can start with theoretical study okay Good plan Yes, we love it. It's, it's honestly, it's wonderful. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> Stop, y'all. Thank you so much for the subs, by the way. Enjoy your wings. Yes, very talented. Holy crap, so talented. We are, we are loving Gora. We are all super excited. So waiting for the best route. Okay, let me go auto. Start by studying some theory, address the fear at its root, and then I'll have nothing to be afraid of. But where would I go to learn about this? I wouldn't know anyone on Narukami Island. Oh, let's go back to Watatsumi Island and ask around there. Okay. Hey, Kokumi Queen, I feel more Welcome at ease in. on Watatsumi Island. I had an idea on the way here. Many of my army comrades are older than me and I'm sure that handling this kind of situation must be second nature to them by now. So I thought we could go ask them for advice. But I can't just go to them and say, hey, I'm no good at this. So instead, I'm going to go with a cover story that I'm asking for a friend. I see. So you're saying that you're... <laughs> uh, your friend, sorry, is having this some is so trouble cute. with a certain someone who has an intense personality. Uh, it, yes. <clears throat> so I'm here on my friend's behalf to ask you for advice on a coping strategy. A coping strategy? <laughs> Based on my experience, the easiest way to deal with people like that is just go through the motions. Huh? What's the logic behind that? Uh, well, you see, General Goro, uh, <laughs> General Goro's friend, I mean, always listens intently when other people are talking and takes them very seriously. <laughs> no matter who the other person is, General Goro's friend treats them all equally. Aww. Which, don't get me wrong, is something I admire very much. But the other side of the coin is that it makes General Goro's friend very susceptible to falling for the other party's verbal traps and being led by the nose. Now, if something like that is bothering you, your best bet is simply to not give the other party your full, undivided attention. Don't hang on their every word, and when they ask a difficult question, just gloss over it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. 
Ah, so that's how it's done. So he's so cute. <laughs> well, I I literally can't. It's something to try. Whether it'll actually work in this case is a different question. Going through the motions is a skill that everyone has to get the hang of as they get older. I'm guessing General Goro's friend is on the younger <laughs> friend. side. Friend. Well, on my friend's behalf, <laughs> thank you for your advice. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, yes, I heard that Miwa from Songonomiya Shrine is also in the area. Why don't you ask her for advice, too? She's supposed to be good with interpersonal stuff. It can't hurt to get another perspective. Makes sense. All right. Let's see what Miwa has to say. Every time we get the expression where, like, his ear is, like, half down... Most people who wish to have an audience with Her Excellency... I want to pass usually out. ...usually start by presenting their name cards and official documents to Miwa, who then passes Yay, them along. Yay! It's time for tail so flooping! Sure Miwa has lots of experience dealing with all kinds of people. Hopefully, she'll have some good ideas. Oh my gosh, the tail flooping is killing me. <laughs> yeah. General Goro, and the captain of Swordfish 2. What are you doing here? We wanted to ask you about something. I see. So General Goro's friend <laughs> wants to overcome his weakness, right? Uh, that's right. Do you have any advice? Hmm. Let me think. My advice would be to hide what you are really thinking. Uh, what? Interesting. Cast your minds back. Why do you think Yai Miko was able to tease General Goro's friend and not the other way around? It's because she always has that same smile on her face. So oh. no one ever knows what she's really thinking. She's already won the battle right from the start. If General Goro's friend wants to go head on with her, he must at least learn to do as she does. To conceal the workings of his mind. Conceal, don't feel. Uh, don't let them know. Makes so much sense. <laughs> so what you're saying is, my friend just needs to keep his cool, and she won't have the chance to take advantage of him. Exactly. Many things look complicated on the surface, but often, all it comes down to is who loses their cool first. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. You have my gratitude. I'm sure with your approach, that... A friend of mine <laughs> will be able to overcome his weakness. <clears throat> then I wish General Goro's friend a great oh my victory. God. Well, I'm slowly starting to gain confidence. Oh, I, I suddenly remembered. Her Excellency updated her general operational directives recently. Oh, she did? Who knows? There may be some useful suggestions in there, too. Let's go take a look. Wait, do we Just get to talk to, to Kokomi? So Let's see. Deployment and mobilization, logistics, conflict resolution, dealing with outlander merchants. Aha! I got it! How to avoid awkward social situations. Wait, what? Well, that's her excellency for you. She thinks of everything, doesn't she? Okay, but she would definitely, like, write about that. That's, that's definitely something that she would do. Socializing is as important as a decisive battle. Know yourself and your enemy But also, succeed. I need to read that. <laughs> if even Her Excellency treats this so seriously, then we'd really better be careful. What I take from this is it's not enough just to learn some general countermeasures. We need specific knowledge of Yai Miko's individual weaknesses to achieve ultimate victory. Does she have weaknesses? <laughs> how do we figure her out? I don't think Yai has weaknesses. I think we can visit the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House. Makes sense. Since she goes there often, perhaps we can find some telling details about her there. Let's go and investigate. Ah, uh, greetings. <laughs> Here to buy some books? We just got a new batch of light novels in. Oh, these ones are all the rage at the moment. I'll take it. I must say that Lady Guji has mm, a keen eye for a good book. Almost everyone she picks is a bestseller. Apparently... The rumor goes that if you can impress Lady Guji with your writing, you're just one small step away from becoming the next big author. Thank you so much for the salva. Are these books personally selected by Yaimiko? Yes. Well, first we screen all manuscripts, filter out the bad ones, and write synopses for the rest. Then we send those to Lady Guji for final approval. So you have close dealings with Guji Yai. 
What sort of person is she? We're really trying it. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, for starters, uh, she's a very busy person. Whenever she visits the Eye Publishing House, she never stays for long. Uh, so, actually, we don't know a whole lot about her. Uh, still, she seems very invested in Yai Publishing House. Uh, and on occasion, she'll share some of her promotional strategies with us. Take That's Life magazine, for example. Uh, when we first started running it, uh, sales were very poor. Uh, the return was barely covering costs, and for a while, it was on the verge of being axed. But the fans weren't happy about the prospect of their favorite magazine being discontinued. They kept writing in, begging us to keep it going. So in the end, Lady Guji stepped in and drew up a new marketing plan. Next thing you know, Yai marketing are through the roof. genius. That's life. Wait, isn't that What's up? <laughs> Nothing. It just reminded me of something. No, unrelated. spill the tea. Hmm. I didn't realize Yai Miko personally handled the marketing for Yai Publishing House. <sighs> Yet more proof of her unparalleled skill in reading people's minds. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. Is there anything more you can tell me about Guji Yai? Uh, no, that's all. Look, I'm not sure what your plan is here, but I caution you against trying to second guess Lady Guji. Just my opinion, but she's the most mysterious person I've ever met. Aww. You think she's mysterious too? Uh, I guess we can forget about getting any insights this way then. Actually, you said that this batch of light novels was hand-picked by her, right? Maybe we could take a brief look. Perhaps we can get some inspiration from them. Sure. If you're interested, I recommend this book. I've been to other worlds, but I've never tasted defeat. <laughs> <sighs> the protagonist doesn't have any particularly exciting abilities, but never fails to defeat strong opponents. It's all thanks to their wealth of experience and cunning strategies. Cunning strategies. In that sense, it sounds similar to Her Excellency Sanganomiya. Oh. Oh, there's an iconic line in this book that people quite like. One who relinquishes nothing also gains nothing. If you want to win when you're at a disadvantage, a little sacrifice is probably going to be necessary. Huh. Thank you for the valuable advice. Well, one more string to our strategic bow. Although I didn't learn much about my enemy, I've still learned a lot from everyone. <sighs> it's time to put these theories to the test. Let's go to Yai Miko's lair, the Grand Narukami Shrine. If I get C6, I say this about every so four star. This It'd is be the really Grand cool Narukami if I get C6. Shrine. <laughs> it's the first time I've been to this place. Yai Miko gay Disney villain arc. I'm here for it. Hello there. You look like you have something weighing on your mind. Would you like to draw a fortune slip? The Grand Narukami Shrine's fortune slips have always been very accurate. So true. I've heard that the generals of the past used to employ all sorts of divination techniques to find out their fortune before a battle. I'm not in the habit of it, but uh, since the opportunity's come up, I'd like to give it a try. Let's draw one together. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh no, um, select. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do the, the, the leftmost fortune slip. Yeah, that one. What I get. Successfully drawn, open it up quick. Let's see what we've drawn. Great fortune! Yes! Right. It. So we have luck on our side. I did it. We can definitely show her who's boss today. I did it. Let's Ow. go. Any second now, we'll be face to face with her. Let's show her who's boss. Don't worry. All our hard work is Let's definitely go. going to pay off. She can forget about teasing me this time. Oh? You arrived a little later than expected. Did you run into some trouble along the way? You knew we were coming? Mm, but of course. That's why I'm here waiting for you. What? <laughs> so what if you knew we were coming? This time, we won't get caught off guard. We're here to... <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. He's so mad already. Let me guess. In the past, I used to have many believers coming to see me at the shrine every day, and most of them came for the same reason. Especially those who came in pairs. 
Nine times out of ten, they were here seeking to know their future fate, hoping that it would be a lifetime together. If you're interested, I'd be quite happy to do a reading for you two. Oh, yeah. T together for a lifetime? What? Whoa there, calm down, Goro. <sighs> Remember what Shuhei said? <laughs> we mustn't pay too much attention to what she says. Otherwise, we may be fooled by her cunning words. <laughs> now that I think about it, perhaps I never needed to recommend that store to you in the first place. You can just leave all your fur grooming to your little friend here. Imagine her Wait! holding her tail in one hand, combing it gently with the other. Uh oh, not good. My mind is already full of mental images. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, I is. It gives me to. <laughs> I'll have to resort to the method Miwa taught us. By the way, <laughs> there's really no point in trying to hide the way you feel. You might be able to remain stony-faced if you really try. Oh! But with your tail swishing behind you, <laughs> it tells everything. What? Then again, you know what? Most people only pay attention to your tail, but ah! your soft, pointy ears I can't are take it. just as fascinating. <laughs> I'm losing it. This is way, this is too much. Thank you so much for the gift subs. Um, I can't take it anymore. There's only one method left. <laughs> A cunning strategy that no one saw coming. What? This is going to hurt me almost as much as it hurts my opponent. But there's no other way. Goro? I think the real reason you know me so well is that you're just like me. Oh. Just like me. You hug your tail when you go to sleep. And... Just like me, you daydream about someone else grooming your tail for you. <laughs> I see. I'm gonna you pass to out. Admit your feelings in an effort to bring me down with you. I'm gonna pass Not out. Bad. This is so cute. I suppose this is a step forward for you. But I'm afraid. I don't have a tail at all. No. Yeah, you do. <sighs> yes, she does. She K O. <laughs> she she did. I don't like. She has a fox form, right? Like from what I remember. So you're lying. I'm gonna say KO. Retreat! Retreat! <laughs> Fighting on is futile. Better to conserve resources for the next confrontation. We're out of here. Not us running. When I get back, I'm going to train harder than I've ever what? trained before. I won't lose to her again. Bye bye now. Come again soon. <laughs> We're actually running and she's laughing at us. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Have I? Why don't we write the replies here? Oh wait, no, I think Super, I've done this one. I just hope I don't yeah, I'm gonna help. skip anyway. through this dialogue since I saw it. Okay, I'll go keep watch at Yai Publishing House. Ah, you want to scout ahead? Yeah, that works. This way, if Yai Miko's lying in wait for me there, I can avoid it. <laughs> but stay sharp, okay? She is a force to be reckoned with. You must be sure to tread carefully. If you spot her, get yourselves back here right away. We'll run for our lives. We'll run for our lives. I mean, uh, <clears throat> we'll make a strategic retreat. Not this. Anyway, I'm counting on you. All right, everyone, settle down. We are gathered here today, united by a common purpose. Now, who can tell me what they think that might be? Let's see what this is all about. Well, of course, it's to tell the whole world about how wonderful Miss Hina is. An excellent answer! Who is Miss Hina? How gentle she is, how understanding she is, how delightfully mischievous she can be. On occasion, we can all testify to the great joy that Miss Hina has brought to our lives. But my friends, there are so many people out there in this world who still need Miss Hina's salvation. We can help by spreading the good news about Miss Hina to every soul in the world. My friend, do you have a moment to talk about Miss Hina? I've never heard of her. <gasps> Friends, I found one! Someone needs our help! <laughs> what? Shh, calm your voice down. We don't want to scare her off. Hello, my friend. On this joyous day, we would like to open our hearts to you and tell you about the existence of a perfect being. She is gentle, kind, understanding. She is the brightest star in our sky. Here, have this pamphlet. So, what do you think? 
It looks like Goro. But she's so cute! But she looks like Goro. <laughs> looks kind of familiar? Oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I forgot to give you all the details. Have you ever come across a magazine called That's Life, published by the Yae Publishing House? It's a monthly magazine featuring, amongst other things, an advice column. We were among the first readers to send in letters seeking advice, and we've received kind and gentle replies to each one. Although the editor chose to conceal her name, gender, and other details, we all see her as an emphatic older sister figure and feel convinced that she must be the same sort of person <laughs> in real life. Oh, there's no mistaking it. Just from her letters, I can feel that she respects me, trusts me. She has a natural ability to connect with people. She's so considerate. She can always send oh our true my emotions God. from her and never fails to deliver the advice and the encouragement we need. Except when it comes to the topic of romantic love. She's clearly not an expert there. But even then, <laughs> that just makes her all the more endearing to us. Recently, the column went through a low period where it just wasn't popular at all. In fact, they almost axed it. Fortunately, Yae Publishing House made the decision to publicize her image, and then the column finally started to grow in popularity. So, Miss Hina is... That's right! Miss Hina is the person in charge of That's Life Magazine's advice column. She is the one we all admire oh my and adore God? so greatly. And so, when we heard that Yae Publishing House would be revealing the official likeness of Miss Hina today, we immediately came here from wherever we were, all over the nation, to gather together and to witness this grand moment in history. <laughs> I can't, I, oh my God. I wonder how Goro would react to this. Please gaze upon the radiant beauty of Miss Hina. See how truly lovely she is. Oh my God. Wait, can I look at the flyer again? Cause I just got it right. Hold on, where is it? I want to look at it again. A pamphlet you obtained from the Miss Hina fan club. You've got to say that the design looks kind of familiar. I wish I could like, I wish I could zoom in. <laughs> it's so cute. She's so cute. I'm screaming. Oh my God. Okay, but like, oh, you can? You can? Hold on. You can do it. Read. Oh, you, yeah, you can do it a little bit. Okay. Tevat's big sister. Gentle and kind, she answers all your questions. She'll help you be rid of all your troubles. <laughs> so cute. Uh... Oh, hey. There you are. <laughs> Is, uh, <clears throat> uh... You know who at Yai Publishing House? No, she isn't. Ooh, that's good. What's up, Goro? I just finished writing my replies, so I was about to head to Yai Publishing House and hand them in. Where are you helping to write for them? Why? Hmm. I guess it's because I can help people this Aww. way. Also, the editor said to me, this is something that only you are capable of. <laughs> they made quite a solemn request when they first approached me, so I felt like I couldn't refuse it. But once I'd settled into it, I found myself really enjoying it. Before I knew it, I had written hundreds of replies, and sometimes they'd respond again just to thank me. It made me so happy whenever they'd compliment me. Uh, every time I think about that terrifying woman, I feel like I want nothing to do with Yai Publishing House. But then, whenever I think about how my replies can help so many people, I feel oh, a sense of responsibility. He's so sweet. By this point, I'm so used to it that I'd probably find it hard to adjust if I ever gave it up. I can't let Goro know the full full story. I'll just have to hide it from him for now. I'm gonna say that one. Well, I don't quite know what's going on, but. I'd like to get these letters delivered quickly while you know who isn't around. I'm really We're really we're to really not saying her name as if she's like letters. Voldemort or something. In the army people are always a little reserved when talking to me because I'm a general. <gasps> Dog butt. But <laughs> obstacles are removed when you're communicating via letters. Everyone what? who writes seems to treat me like that one friend who they can share anything and everything with. <sighs> okay. So I'm not about to let them down. Let's head over. But like, did y'all see the dog? The dog like sat down. It was like, you know what? And let, then lied down and then got up and then sat its butt down. Like it looked like it was scooching. 
<laughs> like, look at him scooting his butt. <laughs> Why does this always happen in hangouts that I do? There's always some weird crap that happens. I hate this. Why don't I deliver them for you? Hmm? But Yai Publishing House is <sighs> in here, if I remember correctly. Let's just head there together. Besides, this way, if uh, you know who does show up, we can look out for each other. Let's go. Hmm, strange. It seems unusually lively here today. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't come here often. Is it like this most of the time? It's a special case today. Hey, there seems to be some commotion over there. Let's no. Allow me to reiterate, my friends. We in the Miss Hina fan club must abide by the club rules. Firstly, we mustn't try and probe into Miss Hina's true identity. We of all people cannot cause her any trouble. Secondly, fans of Miss Hina are not to make any controversial statements when representing the fan club. We must exercise self-discipline and present a good image in front of other people. Thirdly, while our mission is to promote Miss Hina in every way possible, if someone we're talking to says they're not interested, we are to respect that and not go forcing it down their throats. And finally, we are here today because Miss Hina has brought us together, but we are also here to change ourselves for the better, for her sake. Oh. Can we do that, people? Can we do that? <laughs> yes, we can. Always make her proud and never bring her down. Oh, so this is what they call a fan club. Oh my god. I don't know whose fan club it is, but they are raring to go. Yeah. Reminds me of the rallying speeches we used to give before going into battle. <laughs> hmm. Something's up, isn't it? I can tell. You're avoiding my gaze. Mm. Did something happen? <gasps> it's not her, is it? No. Excuse me, friend. Something about you looks awfully similar to Miss oh, Hina. Oh my god, no resemblance whatsoever. I see. Well, one way or another, fate has brought you here. Have you ever heard of Miss Hina? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, now's as good a time as any for you to find out more. Miss Hina is gentle, kind, and considerate. You can tell her anything that is bothering you, and she will patiently advise you on how to deal with it. Oh. Well, she sounds like a very pleasant person to be around. Oh my gosh. She must be the polar opposite of Yai Miko, right? <laughs> but he's the spinning image of Miss Hina. I wonder if they're blood relatives. Shh. Have you forgotten? We may oh. not pry into Miss Hina's identity. They're so respectful. Uh, please, let's take a photo with them. What? <clears throat> Friend, may we take a photo with you? We borrowed a camera specifically to witness the official unveiling of Miss Hina's image today. They borrowed a camera. Oh, uh, they were sure. That's fine. <laughs> oh no. Why do they want to take a picture with me? It's a Narukami Island custom. It's a quirky practice of the Yai Publishing House. It's so random, so quirky. <laughs> I'm just All gonna right. say that. Sure. <laughs> They're such a nice cult. Like honestly, the nicest cult. Ah, <sighs> that should do it. Right. I should really be heading to the Yai Publishing House to hand in those letters now. Phew! Managed to keep him in the dark. Uh, make way, everyone. Make way. Huh? The Miss Hina billboard is here. <gasps> oh no, he's about to see it! Coming through. Hey, everybody! It's the real Miss Hina! He's about to see it! Miss Hina! Miss Hina! Now I'm curious, too. Let's go over <laughs> and take a look. You can't! No! You you can't. Huh? Why? I heard What's Yaimiko is about to arrive back. Uh, really? Then we can't stay. Let's get out of here. As curious as I am to see what all the fuss is about, it'll have to wait until next time. So please join me again the next time I'm delivering letters. Okay, but I love that, like, he literally... <gasps> what? Oh my god, we're hiding it. Oh my god. Okay, but Miss Hina's really, really cute. I'm like, to survive hardship, I for am perceiving respectfully. Look at the tail. How does he not see it? It's not like Lumine's tall, like very tall. I don't see anything. 
I wish. <gasps> It's actually here! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm looking respectfully. Okay, but like this design is actually really good. No wonder Yai, like Yai literally is, is like the marketing genius. This is so funny. Oh my god, I'm I cannot. I I simply cannot. I cannot wait until Goro comes out so I can take a picture. Right next. To, I'm sure everyone's gonna do it, but like I'm I'm excited for that. 